Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Adored Signature Hand Tied Hair Extensions, moving forward with this series on how to get, attract, keep, and get clients to commit series through our email. So we've already discussed how to attract clients with social media, with a funnel. We've discussed consultations. The other part of a consultation that was not discussed was the day of the install. I always like to prepare my clients for how this is going to roll out. I like to tell them, you know, you're going to be here for a couple hours. If you need to bring food, bring food. We will, you know, stop and eat. I like to eat. I need to keep going. So in order to do so, that means I need food. And because I talk with my hands a lot, something I like to do is talk with the client in the beginning, the first, you know, half hour, whatever, 30 minutes. And then I actually put in my earbuds and put on music and go to work. Or I'll listen to a positive podcast to help me just muscle through that install time because it does take me longer. I do work with an assistant at the salon, but the assistant doesn't install my extensions. That's all on me. So she helps me with shampooing. She will help me color the extensions. I haven't really graduated into an assistant that's helping me color, and that's fine. That'll probably come into the future if I wanted to or not. I don't know if I do. Um, but I do lay it out there for the client about how the install is going to go. You're going to come in at this time. We're going to start. I'm going to let you know. I'm probably going to wear earbuds so you can bring in your work computer. You can work. You can answer emails. Do whatever you need. But in order for me to get this process moving, you know, as quickly as can be, I need to be concentrated and focused. And sometimes that means that we won't be talking for a couple hours while I'm doing the install. Uh, everybody in my salon knows that an install is going on when it's happening and, you know, they also cater to the client. They get them whatever they need. We stop for bathroom breaks, whatever. But it is just how the install is going to roll, right? And then we discuss the after. So then I'm going to style your hair and with your permission, if we could take some photos because your photos of your installs before and after help me promote my business. And that's how I, that's what I need to do in order to grow. So if you could help me out with that, that would be awesome. If you can bring in a couple shirts, preferably one plain color, know the color of the hair that you're installing. And is it going to look good against black? Is it going to look good against white? Is it going to be good to have maybe you have like a signature color in there that you want? Or a cute jean jacket. Maybe you want a hat. Maybe you want all of the above. And tell your client to bring in makeup because they are going to have like a mini photo shoot. Maybe you have someone in the salon who does makeup and can help you out with that. But whatever you can do to make those photos look perfect that is going to be the key to growing your business. You need those photos, right? So tell them that up front. Tell them that they're going to be in pictures. Some people will be like, oh, I don't want my picture taken. That's fine. I don't have to get your face in it. You can move their head around. You can move their hair around so that their face never even shows. You can take ones of the back of their head. You can whatever hat on, hat off, braided, not braided, curled, curly, however it may be, whatever it is that you want to promote is what you want to take photos of. So just keep that in mind, prep them for it ahead of time, because that's going to give you success in the future. And it's also something for you to post on your social media. And the other key thing, if your client loves getting their photo taken, even better, right? Tag them on social media, let them share it, let them tell them their friends about you. All these things are going to create great success for you. So that's my tips for the day of the install, letting your client know what they're in for.